Soft and fronted drove. Well, good morning there, John Boy and Billy, and good morning to all our beloved friends out there in Radio Land. This here's Reverend Billy Ray Collins from the Sword of Joshua Independent Full Gospel Pentecostal Assembly just off State Road 23 on the Frontage Road. Well, friends and neighbors, it's that time of year again. America's diving headfirst into another orgiistic frenzy of deficit spending, and all of it's going toward rewarding the most ungrateful bunch of people in America. We're spending money we ain't got, and we're mortgaging our children's future. That's right. It's high school prom season. (laughs) Now, we say we believe that children are the future, like that song says. Oh, but we don't think a thing about sending our precious little daughters out dressed like the whore of Babylon (laughs) with some horny, unsaved underachiever in a rented tux Uh so they can spend three or four hours twerking in a dark, smelly gym to the family destructing beat of Areola Grande and Snoopy dog poo and then we're all shocked when they come home at four o'clock in the morning all reefered up and pregnant well as any parent of a high school ought to know by now you can't spell promiscuity without p-r-o-m oh hold on there preacher if you're so worried about it you need to quit being so down on sex education Moments like this are exactly why we need to teach our youngins about it as part of their education. And you know what? You got a good point. I plumb forgot. The only place kids can learn about sex is in a classroom (laughs) or on a TV or at the movies or on the computer. (laughs) Why, modern America is a regular Gobi desert when it comes to information about sex Mm. stuff. Uh. You ever notice the folks that push the hardest about sex education in a school never seem to have enough time to put in a word or two about abstinence? Uh. Oh, they're too busy handing out six packs of condominiums (laughs) in the school colors. (laughs) Well, okay, preacher, if you're so smart, how would you handle prom night? I'm glad you (laughs) asked. And I'm pleased as sugar-free, non-alcoholic punch to invite your hormone-addled teenagers to our annual Sword of Joshua Spring Cotillion and Bible Conference. Uh It'll be Saturday night, May the 19th, at our brightly lit and deeply unromantic (laughs) church activity center. Once again, our theme for the evening is abstinence makes the heart grow fonder. Mm -hmm. We'll have two hours of obsessively chaperoned live entertainment (laughs) featuring the biblically accurate and downright undanceable sounds of the Peckerwood Brothers Quartet with Sister Willa Meaner with their laid-back renditions of sanctified classics from the Red Hymnal while the only thing your youngins will be shaking is their finger in the face of the backslide. Mm. (laughs) Then after a quick snack of graham crackers and pineapple juice, they'll get a soul-saving gospel smackdown from our guest speaker, Dr. George Beverly D'Angelo from the Snakes and Sparklers Pentecostal Temple in Hognut, Oklahoma. He'll close it out with a Zach message today's aimless, misguided youth need to hear. Sex can be the most dangerous, diabolical, and degrading activity in the whole world, and you should always save it for somebody you really love. <laughs> for more information, call the Sword of Joshua Spring Cotillion Hotline at 1-800-YES-AMEN. Lukewarm mainline Christians that still mess with computers can check us out on the FaceTube and Insta Twitch. Book now a carefully measured dose of fully supervised fun is guaranteed for all. Our minds made up but our doors wide open here at the Sword of Joshua Independent Full Gospel Pentecostal Assembly, just off State Road 23 on, on the, the Frontage, Frontage Road. Road. This here's the Reverend Billy Ray Collins reminding you it's time to turn so you don't burn. John Boy and Billy, yes, sir. y'all have a nice day.